Stayallday.com. Game and today, I'm gonna tell you about setting up your mind. So whatever it is you want, first step you gotta know what you want. So once you figure that out, what you want in life, who you want to be in life, where you want to go in life, what you want to have. These are the three things you need to do to set your mind the right way in order to get it. Because if you ain't got the right mindset, you could be doing all the right things and not get it. You ain't got the right mindset, you could have all the resources and not get it. You ain't got the right mindset, you could be in the right place with all the right people and still not get it. So you got to set your mind first. If your mind is right, then you can make all those other things happen. So number one thing is this. First one is what we call auto-suggestion. And if you are familiar with the writings of Napoleon Hill, you're familiar with auto-suggestion. But if you're not... I'm gonna tell you two things. Number one, go buy a book, any book you see with Napoleon Hill's name on it as the author. One of them's called Think and Grow Rich. The other one's called Law of Success. The third one's called Outwitting the Devil. And he got a few others, but read those three. Just look up his name, but this is what you need to do. This is what auto-suggestion is. Auto-suggestion is very simply, you know what a suggestion is, right? When somebody tells you something. Auto-suggestion is when you suggest something to yourself instead of someone else suggesting it to you. So if I suggest to you, you should read a book. That's one thing. That's me suggesting to you. But auto suggestion is if you tell yourself what you need to do. So auto suggestion, the way that it works is that you tell yourself anything over and over and over again. You are going to eventually believe it. And then you're going to start living out the thing that you keep telling yourself, even if you don't want to. So what do, you, what do I mean by that? Even if you don't want to. How many of you ever been in a situation or know somebody who always says negative stuff about themselves like people be like oh man I'm stupid because I keep messing this up or I'm a bum because I keep not making a basketball team or I must be I must be cursed because every time I try something it doesn't work out you ever know anybody like that like they keep telling themselves negative things because for whatever reason they're not getting the results they want that's auto suggestion even when it's going in the opposite direction auto suggestion works both ways so when you tell yourself good things you are eventually going to start doing those good things because you keep telling yourself over and over. But if you tell yourself negative stuff, it works too. So all the suggestion goes both ways. So number one way to set your mind to get what you want, be who you want to be in life, is that you start suggesting it to yourself. That means every single day, it got to be consistent. So it's not like a one-time thing. Like you say, I'm going to score 30 points per game this season on a basketball team. That just means you're going to do it because you said it once. It got to be every single day you saying it. So that's number one. Number two, ask yourself this question. If I already was the person I wanted to be or if I already had the success I want to have, what would I do in this situation right now if I was already that person? Because people get into situations where they make the decision based on who they are now, not based on who they want to be. And that's why they can never get to that point. So if you want to get to the person you want to be or you want to get to the place that you want to be, you got to start making decisions and acting in the moment as the person you will be, not the person that you already are. Y'all understand that? You gotta start making decisions as the person who you will be, the place you will be, the results you will have instead of what you already got. Because if you only make decisions and act and think like the person that you are right now, then guess what? You're gonna stay that person forever. So if any of you watching this, if you're perfect and you're happy with who you are right now and exactly where you at right now in life, then you definitely can just keep doing that. You can keep thinking that way and keep being the way that you are. But if you want to do better, if wherever you at in life, you want to go further, you want to do better, you want to achieve more, you got to start making your decisions based on the person you're going to be, not the person you are. Number three thing, and this is also important, you got to understand the inverse of this. Is anytime you're facing a situation, a challenge, whatever it is, you got to ask yourself, what would I not do if I was the person I already wanted to be? What would I not do in this situation? For example, basketball player has a you say you want to score 20 points a game but you go out and you score two points in the very next game after you said that right you score two points your very next game what do players who end up staying average players do they say to themselves damn I scored two points I'm a bum I scored two points I'm always messing up I scored two points I don't know what the problem is I scored two points everybody's better than me I scored two points I don't know if I'll ever have a good game again in my life that's what players do that keep them down that keeps you down because you're telling yourself auto suggesting to yourself that something's wrong with you whereas a player who's at a higher level they would say to themselves all right i had that game that wasn't ideal but guess what i'm gonna come right back the next game and make up for it and bring my scoring average right back up to where it needs to be so the number three point is this when you are in any situation ask yourself this question what would i not do what would i not do if i was already the person that i wanted to be in life 
If I was already the person I wanted to be in life, what would I not do in this situation? What would I not say? What, what decision would I not make? So let me recap these three points so we could all get on with our July 4th. Number one, auto-suggestion. What are you saying to yourself over and over again? This is mind setting. So all you want to set your mind any way, any way that you want to set your mind, positive, negative, number one thing is what are you telling yourself consistently about yourself? Number two, what would I do if I was already the person I wanted to be in this situation? Number three, what would I not do if I was already the person I wanted to be in this situation? Can I take any questions? Can I take any questions? I'll take them right now. Chris Tucker? I ain't never heard of Chris Tucker, but okay. What pace do I run at? What's it had to do with the topic? <laughs> and that's not a question I would answer anyway. You had to run with me to get an answer to that question. Run with me or run from me. That, ain't that what Rick Ross said? <laughs> oh, that's what's up, Coach Kev, taking notes. Shout out to everybody taking notes. That's what y'all should be doing. I'm his twin brother. All right. <laughs> what about outside people? This ain't about outside people. See, you already auto suggesting to yourself something that's not going to help you out. Uh, trade time 25. You already thinking of the problems instead of considering the solution. The solution is you. Don't matter what nobody else does. I just gave you three tips on how to set your mind the way you want to be. And the first thing you're thinking about is what somebody else might do to stop you. That's the problem right there. Where can we find you on GCTV Network? Just go there and type in my name. You can't miss me. Or just go to DreAllDay slash GCTV. It's right there. DreAllDay.com slash GCTV. It takes you right to the show page. What if they impose their will because it'll come up in life? Well, what about you? What about your will? Don't all human beings have will? So if somebody can impose theirs on you, you can impose yours on yourself. Can you not? But again, I mean, listen, I'm not here to, I'm not here to convince you that you have the power to control your own life. If you are, if you are convinced that you don't, then that's your problem. I can't, I'm not here to save everybody. I ain't Jesus. Oh, no doubt. Mike, I appreciate that. The Grant Cardone Show is DreAllDay.com slash GCTV. How you harness the law of attraction. Read the book. Read the book about the law of attraction. Wherever you heard about it, go find a book about it, read it, and then you'll learn something. I'm in South Florida is where I live. I'm going to try this with my ex. Do I think it will work? I'm not the one to answer that question. I know somebody who can. <laughs> Favorite video? I don't have a favorite video. All right, shout out to everybody that's at work. I'll be wrapping this one up anyway. My Snapchat is at Dre Baldwin. At Dre Baldwin is my snap. If any of you got a question, a relevant question, a good question, you hit me on Snap. And if it's a good question, I'll answer it. If it's not a good question, I'm not answering it. So everybody have a great 4th of July, whether you are celebrating a holiday or is this a normal day for you. Uh, what's going on, NYC? Good morning to you. Everybody have a great day. Hit me on Snap at Dre Baldwin. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. If you're on Snapchat, hit me on the Snap. My Snap name is at Dre Baldwin. You already know how that works. And I got a podcast, if you didn't know. It is called Work On Your Game. It is an everyday podcast where I talk about getting yourself into the right mindset, that bulletproof mindset. Getting yourself seen, heard, known. Getting the exposure you want and making things happen in your life instead of waiting for things to happen to or for you. Subscribe to that podcast. We're on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Make sure you check it every single day. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch the heat. Work on your game.